Hello again, it's Vicki with Condi's Tech Support and I am in Corel X4 today and I was asked yesterday how to use the Arrange tool by a client here at Condi and uh, it made for a good video so I thought um, this would be good information that a lot of people might need help with. So uh, to talk about the Arrange tool um, in Con um, in Corel Draw, I'm in X4 but the tool will work as well with both X5 and some of the earlier versions of Corel. Um, so uh, the Arrange uh, is in the menu up here and basically what it does is it moves objects from front to back. And I know it's a, it's kind of a basic uh, tool. It's, this is going to be kind of a, of a beginner type um, learning uh, video about how the tool works and to start off I'm just going to draw a few objects on the page so we'll start off with say a square and we'll put some color in that square we'll make it black um, now we'll come down and we'll draw um, another type shape pentagon and we'll make it blue and right click to get rid of the stroke and uh, let's make kind of a oval shape and we'll make it um, say purple get rid of the oval shape of the uh, stroke and just uh, to put on a good demonstration we'll create another shape uh, and we'll make a circle and to make a perfect circle I'll just hold my control key down and um, drag my mouse so we'll make this color um, we'll just go green up uh, let's go a brighter green so we can tell okay so one thing about these objects on the page is first of all um, the last object I draw will be the one that's in front so as you can see this is in front. We know I drew, I drew the circle last. And uh, this one would be behind the green, in front of the blue, and in front of the black. Now the black will be behind everything because that is the first object that I drew on the page, if you remember. So uh, let's just put it back over here. And I know my page is a little uh, small my document size a little smaller than what we're working with but for the demonstration we're going to do or I'm going to do here uh, we're not going to print it out or anything I just want to be able to demonstrate it well using different colored objects and different shapes so now what I'd like to do is maybe compile these objects so that you can see them all a little bit of each and every one of them but have them overlapping some okay so again we've got the green on front so we'll start with that one and to arrange it we must click on it if we want to arrange this green circle uh, say back behind uh, another or let's say the uh, the purple oval which is one back we would click arrange come down to order and back one and now you can see it's behind the oval shape still in front of the other two uh, uh, the blue and the black shape okay so let's click on the black square and let's arrange it to the front so now the black square is in front of all three objects which before it was behind all objects so now we've arranged it to the front and this works well with a lot of um, graphics you might use when you're drawing something or you're creating a graphic or you're importing things to the page and doing all kinds of fancy graphic work inside your document you may want something to appear behind something uh, rather than in front of something but maybe not behind everything so you can click on these objects in um, and move them uh, move them back behind the earlier objects that you had put on the page so uh, that's a great feature for creating graphics 
and uh, making uh, special effects within your graphic so that it, they appear a certain way. So once again we'll demonstrate uh, with the blue pentagon we'll click that arrange order and we'll move it forward one and now it's in front of the green. So again this is how it works if I wanted to uh, group these objects and uh, together say I had them the way I wanted them and I was ready to print and maybe shift it to something else on the page I could group them and now these objects have become one if I click one I move them all so um, let's say now I want to draw another object and of course it's going to be on front and to prove it we'll make it a light blue color let's right click to get rid of the stroke and so now this object is on front of the page I have um, applied a new object in my graphic and now I want this object to appear in the front so now this object is one I don't have to mess with the four individual objects anymore it's just I've grouped it and now it's become one object so I could go arrange order and move it to the front of the page so all four objects are now on the front of the page and that's how it works so if you have any questions or anything you'd like to talk about uh, with the arrange tool in Corel Draw feel free to ask my name is Vicki and I'm at Condi in tech support as always I thank you for your time